Hey guys, welcome back to our review daily, daily show, Monday to Friday, where I review everything in the entire world. This episode, we have Triple J's Hottest 100, Volume 23. Now, this is the newest album, this is the newest Hottest 100. Um, this was from 2015, came out in 2016, but it's from the Hottest 100, voted by us. Um, Triple J are an Australian, uh, radio station and every year on Australia Day they count down the hottest tracks of the previous year. So this year, spoilers, uh, Hoops by the Rubens came in at number one. Um, and of course there are 199 other songs. But let's have a look. So this is a cover that it comes in. It's got a track list on the back, two CDs, and once again the same there. The same thing there. Inside we've got CD1 and CD2. And we've got um, some writing there which I'll let you read if you want to pause the video and read it. I don't even know if that showed up, but this is where it gets interesting. I have a list. The full list, 1 to 100 here. On CD1, we've got Hoops by the Rubens, which is on the CD. So basically, I'm going to be comparing the uh, the full list. So basically, this is, this is way too confusing. Not all the songs, not, not all 100 songs are on the CD. There are only 42. So not even half the songs. So they have to be careful when they're choosing the songs that they want. So the Hoops, uh, so Hoops by the Rubens is on there. And number two on the Hottest 100 was King Kunta by Kendrick Lamar. That is not on there. Um, Lean On by Major Lazer and DJ Snake. The Less I Know the Better by Tame Impala. Uh, the Trouble With Us by... Marcus Mara and Chet Faker. Do You Remember by Jared James. And we've got stuff like The Buzz by Hermitude, which just isn't on there. Not that I can see, anyway. I Can't Feel My Face is on there. Um, Magnet is on there. Never Be is on there. You Will Write is on there. Oh. Okay. Uh... Ocean Drive is on there. Oh, I found the buzz. Okay, the buzz is on there. Hotline Bling is not on there. It's number 14 on the Hottest 100, and it's not on there. Kendrick Lamar, King Kunta was number 2, and it's not on there. Except something like... I don't know. Alright, number 39, Swear Jar by Illy. That is on there. It's number 39. LSD by ASAP Rocky. Number 64. That is on I mean, it's a good song. I'm not saying it's bad. It's a good song. But I'm just saying, like, why would you put something that say, I don't know. I don't know. All I'm saying is, why would you put on some of the not as high rated songs, but not include the second song? Just blows my mind. King Kunta. It's a good song as well. It's just it's just annoying that it's just not there. Anyway, I called the I called hoops. I called it was gonna be number one. Um so yeah, that's all that really matters. But apart from that, it's a really good album. Like I'm not critic I'm not here to criticize it, I'm not here to say it's bad or anything. I'm just saying uh, I'm just confused why you wouldn't put the number two song on it. You know what I mean? But anyway, thank you all very much for watching. We just got one some question viewing everything in the entire world, definitely recommend it. Uh, it's it's really good. It is really good. Um, even if I'm sounding a bit negative or whatever. But thank you all very much for watching. Uh, if you liked it, you can hit a subscribe. If you want to see previous videos, that one's going to be here. The next video will be here. Thank you all very much for watching. We've got one so close to viewing everything in the entire world. I'll see you all in the next... <laughs> I'll see you all in the next one. And boom!